Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert and today, what the? Ah, uh, that's much better. All right guys, sorry about that. Um, so today we had a lot of quick questions. We had a lot of awesome questions about how to submit a article to Armory Daily. So in today's video, you guys are gonna jump behind the screen with me and we're gonna walk through step-by-step -step on exactly how to submit an article to Armory Daily. Let's go. Welcome to the behind the screen look. Uh, so the uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over to Armory Daily. So I'm just gonna Google search Armory Daily, armorydaily.com. Um, now I'm already logged in. If you're new to the website, you're gonna see like a sign in button at the top corner. Um, so go ahead and create an account, and get logged in, it's super easy. It's, you know, username, password. You can do a submit an article under articles here. Uh, or you can click your avatar and do create a post. Um, now, the cool thing about this is it's already optimized for SEO, so there's not a lot of stuff you have to do. I'm going to show you a couple of different things. I'm not going to show you the entire article process of me sitting here for 45 minutes and writing an article. I'm going to skip the actual bulk of the content. I'll pause the video. We'll go jump back into where I'm adding images and links, and I'm going to show you how to make bulletin points, how to bold stuff, how to change stuff to H2s or H3s, um, and go from there. So give me about, well, for you, it'll be about three seconds. So hold that right here. Let's go. Okay, so before we go too far into the video itself, I wanted to take a moment to remind you to like and comment, subscribe, right? They always say like, comment, subscribe. I don't know, YouTube algorithm. Just comment, because if you do comment and you do subscribe and you're on this video, let me know because I'm giving away a whole bunch of these and I'm not going to say what they are because uh, YouTube's algorithm, you know, or filters that they have will kick me off. I've got some black ones. I've got some really cool ones. Here's, here's a multicam one. That one's cool. I have a whole bunch of these. Like I said, I'm not going to say what they are because last time I did, they kicked the video, the whole video off just by having that one little plug in there. Uh, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to send you one. I'm not going to get your personal information. I'm going to send you a link to fill out a form. And then from the website Armory Daily, they will ship you one of these out directly. All right, guys, back to the video. Okay, so I didn't go into the all the details and nitty gritty on how I pick my topics. So I guess it just depends on what you're trying to write about. This one, I'm focusing on shooting ranges. Um, and it's not so much of trying to figure out where a shooting range is or how to promote a shooting range i'm trying to generate content around building up an organic searches around good shooting ranges uh, and, and with that i'm starting to start branching out into content like for this one example range time uh, how shooting ranges benefit mental health a lot of people obviously don't do that search but it's an interesting concept when you break down and do some research so I was able to start generating some content around, you know, building up why shooting ranges are good mentally meant for your mental health. And maybe it's a stress reliever, you know, stuff like that. You, you never really experience why shooting excites you so much until you actually get out there and shoot something and blow something up. And you just have this like release of emotions or anger or doubt or insecurity or whatever it is. You, you'd be surprised by blowing something up and shooting the shit out of it. It's a, it's a good stress reliever. I mean, people like to box and go to the gym and work out, but shooting is kind of like my ASMR. Uh, so, uh, so back to the article. I'm sorry, I got, I got uh, hit on a uh, tangent right there. Uh, so I've, I've uh, put together a, a good article. And the first thing that I want to go through before we jump into that is some of the settings. So what I like to do is I like to start over here and make sure that I've picked the right category. So I've selected firearms, obviously, um, and I put shooting ranges as the tag. I, I'm probably going to want to do uh, this whole little section right here too. So I'm gonna copy that and add that into a tag. Now, the reason why tags are important is one, there's two options here for my SEO guys. This is gonna be, uh, a, a no-brainer for you, but for the people that don't know what the tags are used for, they're actually on their own independent sitemap. So um, Armory Daily has multiple sitemaps. You have a category sitemap, you have a post sitemap, and you've got tag sitemaps. 
So this is a separate section. It's kind of like a different hashtag. If you, if you know social media, it's like adding an additional hashtag of a better understanding of your content. So I always recommend maybe even throw in your whole title, take a copy of your title, throw it into the tags and um, let that ride or certain sections like shooting ranges or how to shoot, uh, how shooting ranges benefit mental health. Little sections like that from your title will help as well. Uh, and that'll go into the search boxes and I'll show you a little bit more about that. Now, when we start talking about the actual title tags um, and the actual breakdown of how you should structure a page, this is where we start talking about H2s. And I know a lot of people, a lot of the SEO guys will tell you that it's been broken, it's been broken for years. But here's the simplest way of looking at it. If you have a subcategory or subtopic, treat that as a H2. So for example, stress relief, a, a therapeutic escape, therapeutic escape. Um, treat that as an H2. That's a secondary title of the content. So all of these secondary titles would be considered H2s. Now I'm gonna show you right here under the frequently asked questions. That's technically an H2, but you'll see that you have an actual question, which could be an, the actual H3 uh, of the, and, and, and the answers themselves could just be literally in bullet points. But the H3s are what's inside the H2. So for example, Google is going to run this page and say, okay, well, your H2 is frequently asked questions, but your H1 is how a shooting range is benefited. So Google automatically will identify this is the, the main point of the page. This is the main question sections of the page, and here's all the H3s. So when you start seeing Google searches, for example, right here, these questions, these are all H3 questions that are broke down on, on these pages, top five benefits of owning firearms on these pages. Here is a question. So if you want to rank your website inside these sections, you're going to want to break down the actual questions that you're, you're asking. So the way I do it, and I don't know if, if whoever uh, decided to, to do it uh, the first time. I mean, I've been doing it this way for years. It's not the only way I do things, but it is a way that I like to break down, just especially when I'm trying to divide out sections of content into bite-sized pieces. I'm going to jump into bite-sized pieces here in a second with images um, because you'll see that it's not a lot of content. There's an H2, not a lot of content here. Uh, and the reason why I do bite-sized pieces mainly is because you're not going to get that many readers to digest that much content. So when you're talking about, uh, when you're talking about sharpening the mind, you know, you don't want 50 pages of that. You want a quick, good summary explaining what you're talking about and then have maybe a link and to an external site or to an, another article that goes more in depth. And you want to basically build up these pillar type content posts for Armory Daily. And the reason why is because it ranks very well for, very well for Google. And if you're writing content for your business or if you're writing content for a product that you're trying to sell, it's not going to work just by saying buy, 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 buy. You need to actually build up some relevancy on why people should use this type of stuff. Um, another article like this would work great if you were selling like headphones or um, noise cancellation, you know, headphones or whatever, uh, which I don't have any on my desk for some reason. But stuff like that you can sprinkle links into and then it, it works out very well. So I'm going to finish off these uh, h3s put in my bullet 10 points um, and then when I actually let me just show you real quick so you have uh, a lot of options uh, you have the h2s h3s of course you have numbers uh, you have bullet points you have uh, quotes you have tables if you want to create tables and then obviously you can align the text the way you want um, I thought that was really cool for Armory Daily to do uh, that that's something that a lot of websites that just allow you to write content and post and distribute content on they don't give you that they just basically give you uh, just you know brick and stick here it is this is all you get here's your here's your text this one actually you know you can you can play around with it a little bit more and, and get a little bit uh, more out of it so we're gonna go ahead and update that 
and you'll see that it comes with a default image, right? And there's nothing exciting about this content. So there's a little edit button. Um, in order to in order to make it pop, right? First thing we're going to do is get a featured image. The featured image is underneath this little arrow, and this is going to break the internet because these featured images are awesome. These things are, are really cool. They look really well on the website. So let's look at creating uh, a featured image real quick, and I'll show you kind of what I do uh, on on Canva. So I'm going to slide Canva over here real quick. So basically, I went into uh, Canva, and the size that I have for this, I'll show you, is a 1440 by 900. So, and I put I put a little watermark on there. You you can just put whatever image you want there. But all I really do is I take a section a section of this. Maybe you're just shooting shooting ranges, and let's see where did Canva go. And I just go to photos, shooting ranges, and I'll just pick one. And we'll flip it to the other side. So you can kind of see the armory daily a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm just going to download just that one. And I'm sorry if I'm moving crazy fast. And then I'm just going to upload it. Sometimes it does it twice. I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to save it and then I'm going to show you the preview of it. So even though it cuts it a lot, uh, cuts most of it off, just keep in mind that when you actually see it in the uh, the section that it's going to be in, it's going to show full. So don't 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 worry too much about it. It's it's going to show the full image. Now right here is where it gets fun because you want little sections of this. So I'm going to take stress relief, for example. I'm going to go back to Canva. I'm going to put that in there. And let's say another shooting video. Let's, or there we go. Let's put that one in there. Again, downloading. This isn't, I mean, like I said, this isn't overly complicated. This is, this is super easy. Uh, and another thing that we can do is uh, move that over. So when you're adding an image to the actual content, you're just going to press enter. You're going to see this little plus icon, please plus icon. Uh, and then you're just going to click uh, the image and it automatically rounds the corners. It looks really cool. And then we we'll can, we can save that and, and view that as well. And that's it. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to add a bunch of a uh, bunch of images in here real quick, and then I'm going to come back and show you the links. One second. Okay, welcome back. So I finished the article. I've got almost 700 words now. Um, so I've added a whole bunch of images. So what I was talking about before was having bite-sized pieces. So important to have bite-sized pieces so as people scroll especially on mobile as they scroll down the page they have they hit the section stress relief it's a little digestible piece of information that that can that can benefit them and then they can move on building confidence focus and concentration see not having to read the entire title and just really bite-sized pieces uh, makes the reader more engaged more enjoyable and they are able to kind of cruise through the article Rather, rather quickly um, and, and kind of grasp what the, the content's really trying to get to. Now, backlinks. I know a lot of you SEO guys were talking about backlinks and linking to external sources. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so how do we do that? Um, one of the big things is how, right? How. So uh, the way that I do it, and I've been doing SEO for most of my life, the way that I do it is I use Google. Uh, so for example, shooting can create a sensible, uh, sense of mindfulness. Okay. So let's Google that and check this out. You, you really found a, in, in, an article right out of the gate. So now I'm just going to take this link 
and I'm going to link it there. Uh, now let's see what else I have. S shooting skills. Okay. I'm just Googling that now. And you'll notice that all I'm doing is I'm literally just grabbing chapter three, shooting skills. Let's see what this is. Let's make sure it's a good website, shooting skills. I mean, it's not bad. So let's let's go ahead and put that link in there. I'm, I'm trying to grab relevant, already known by Google relevant content to showcase each section has a, a good understanding of the article. Uh, symptoms, so check this out. Sharpening the mind, shooting ranges, eight individuals, stay present and focus. So check this out. This is this is gonna be a good one. We're just Googling these words and check this out. Already found an awesome article. Let Google do the work. You don't have to you, you don't have to like think about this ridiculously hard. And what's gonna happen is your your article is actually going to rank uh really well because you've you've got all these external sources and these are do follow so all those um all those websites that find out ab about this about this article they have links to their stuff now so it, it's really cool um all right so i mean that's basically all i do is i i try to find little sections of here uh in the content that i can get a good external link to the content uh and really help uh, build up some relevancy to this article. Now, I'm not trying to uh, send traffic by all means to the, the next article. I'm just trying to get the user the best relevancy, the best relevant content I could possibly find. And I'm going to use Google to do so. Um, once you're completed with that, once you're done with that, you're happy with your article, everything looks good, then you're just going to update and publish it. And that's it. And then it's going to go uh, under articles. It's going to go right here. And here is your article. You're on Armory Daily. Uh, it does get distributed. So we have a whole bunch of distributor networks that, that take it. Um, but it does get distributed. And it's, it's really freaking awesome. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I still have a whole bunch of these to hand out and give out. All that information is in the description below. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.